Hello and welcome back to the channel. This marks our first Arsenal breakdown this season. Thanks for all the new views and the silent supporters. We really appreciate you guys. Coming up, we look at how there's been a pillar the Arsenal attack is built on. How Ateta managed to bypass Brighton's defence and his change to cope with Declan Rice's controversial red card. On Brighton, we look at the different shape in defence how they build the game, how they manage to attack, and their intricate central play. Brighton has been impressive this season, and it seems their machine doesn't skip a beat. Hesler is looking like the right appointment, and it's ironic to see them invest in players in the midway of their careers, instead of grooming talents from scratch. This is exactly what Deserby wanted. For Arsenal, it seems like they are locking in the final pieces for the Premier League push. Arsenal are well known for their shape and its similarities with Manchester City. They are keeping their old shape. They play with the boss midfield that changes into a 3-2-5 in attack. At this point, we expect good attacking play. But it was more different on the day. Hesler lined his team in a narrow 3 3 shape that changed to a 4 2 at times to cover the central space and the double tanks. Ateta counted by dropping his wingers a little deeper but still maintain hugging the lines. They received out wide and played around the mid block to get in crosses or attack the balls directly. They are very right side dominant in attack. There is always a plan B and C for Ateta. That was going long for Kai Havertz and fighting for the second and third box. It was harder in the second half after Bryce was sent up. They made two glorious chances on the break by getting the ball out wide to set Havertz off on a 1v1 or get a quick cross into the box. The Gunners have one of the best out of possession plans in Europe. The good review on the press during the build up with a shifted 4 person press to move the ball towards the right. They dropped the press entirely in the second half. They initially moved into a 4 hour format block. They finished the game in a 5 3 1 defensive shape by bringing Calafiori on. This chess match wasn't one sided. Brighton was in the game from the jump. Brighton plays in a 2 3 2 3 shape or 2 3 5 in full flight. They moved their full back sire in line with Baleba, who was working as a single pivot. He was assisted by Hen Sherwood, moving closer to him. They play short, intricate passes to work the ball through Asna centrally, or get it out wide. They were lost at times on the final pass. They stretched wider with a man advantage. 
they got some good chances in the first half. Mitoma and Pedro were stand out on the day, very instrumental as an outlet wide to beat his man and get the ball into the box. Norris Dunk, who was at fault for the goal conceded, redeemed himself. He was great with playing line-breaking passes through the middle to take two lines out of play. Espas is how Brighton got their equaliser. We can't finish the tactical review without talking about Brighton's defensive tactics. They took the central spaces from Arsenal. They had their man-to-man -man press. But the key was shifting from their narrow 3-2 press to a 4-2 press. They compressed the spaces and kept their highlight. It was a very good game. Brighton looked to be this season's Aston Villa. They are off to a great start. The game finished with both teams sharing the points. This will be our analysis for the day. Let's talk in the comments. Let us know what you thought of the match and which player impressed you the most. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest content. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.